how to day trade with the trend is what I'm going to talk about here. And honestly, you know, I like to keep things as simple as possible. So if you have eyes, then you can see it. So if you can day trade and you can see the trend is going in a continued upward direction or a continued downward direction, I'm going to show you how exactly to identify that in the first place. So before we can actually get to that, let's talk about the definition of what exactly a trend is in the first place. So definition wise, this is what I've came up with down here. A trend is basically the directional movement of a stock that is continuing in the same pattern of movement, whether it be up or down. Now, the nice thing about this is that realistically, as long as you know what you're looking for, you can actually eyeball this and you don't need a whole thousand trend lines just showing you the obvious that you can see again with your eyeballs. So to dig deeper on that a little bit uh, further, now understanding the intraday market trend will dramatically increase your probability of winning a trade for that specific day, just based off of market context of what you're looking at intraday. So the same day that you're literally looking at on that day, so I'm going to show you maybe like the five minute chart to show you market trend. And then as a result from doing that, you can identify, hey, where am I going to enter? Where should I exit based off of what I'm planning to see um, as long as the direction continues? So realistically, let's break down what the market can actually do. Now, the market can only do three things. It can either go up, down or sideways. It can't do anything else. It's not 3D, it can't go in and out basically, right? It can only go up, down, or sideways. It's not that complicated. The problem is that you just don't know how to identify it. So let's talk about how to identify it. So this is a random day for SPY. Now this happens all the time. This is a fully uptrending day. I know you can see from the low over here of what is this for 37.20 cents all the way up to the 440, was that 444.80 cents. It, literally went up right now i know you may be thinking okay great it went up fully but i can't know if it's going to do that for the entire day you can so here's what you're supposed to do so for the market of how it is uh, i usually take the first hour in a chunk to know where the rest of the market should or will be going within the next one to two hours right so what that basically looks like is that from 8 30 a.m cst when my market opens up in houston texas to 9 30 a.m cst the market opened up above VWAP, volume weighted average price. As a result, you can see for one here and a little bit here, right? It just flew up, came back, kind of bled into VWAP a little bit, but still bounced back upward, right? So it's showing that, hey, when things are above VWAP, typically it's an upward trending day. When things are below VWAP, typically it's a down trending day. If things sometimes open up and they're always fully sideways within like that first one hour, more than likely, it's going to be a sideways trending day just going up and below like this on VWAP, basically. But this one, no matter what, for the most part, stayed above VWAP. Hence, hey, it's an upward trending day. It gave you proof here. It gave you proof really here. And it gave you proof here. So what does that basically mean? That basically means that, hey, potentially, if it comes back down to VWAP, it's potentially going to bounce it and fly back upward. So you should be looking for an option call. You should be looking to buy the stock to the upside, whatever the way you buy it, basically. But ideally, again, you should be looking for no matter where you buy, just hey, proof that it's going up, let me buy proof that it's going to go up, so an option call. So if you're looking at from a play perspective, ignoring this one, right? For one, it stayed above VWAP, potentially a play here as an example, if you want to take a play off of VWAP, right? Um, still one up, it's saying, hey, this is potentially um, an option call still in itself. You see it kind of broke out through it, but this was the highest point of the day. If you're familiar with my strategy being the major supply zone, this was the highest point, came down, broke through it so this candle broke through the next one came down sat on top of it for a little tap and then ran up right same thing here this is the highest point of the day at this point in time 441.61 came down teeter around a little bit broke through came tap it went up tap the same zone went up this is the highest point of the day right here at this point in time came around went over tapped it went up now if you're thinking Okay, so if the first one hour showed you that you should be looking for a call, and I just showed you one, two, three, four calls, there are potential plays, and there's more than that, by the way, but I was showing you four. Um, let me show you how clean they actually were for the most part, or how they looked on the one minute chart. On the one minute chart, check this out. Here's exactly what I said. It went up, came down, tapped inside of it, so you broke through, tapped inside of the zone, ran up, came around, so create the zone here, came over, came up. So it broke through on this one minute chart, came around, tapped it, went up. 
tapped it. Very clean one. Went up. Came over here, created the zone. Came back down. Came around like it wanted to. Then very clean one right here. Tapped it. Started running up for the rest of the day. No matter when you looked at this chart, on this naked chart, you can see it's going up. If it was only the left side from 930 onto the left, you can see, okay, hey, the past hour has been going up. Okay, cool. Let's batch it then. From 930 to 1030, it's still going up. It's still above you up. Okay, so you probably would be thinking, hey, I should maybe look for a call. It looks like it's only in an uptrend. Maybe you still didn't see it. Okay, great. From 1030 to 1130, it's still going up. Okay, maybe you still don't see it. It's not as dramatic as all of this. Okay, great. Let's go further. From 1030 to 1130, yes. But from 1130 to 1230, so you're over here, it's still going up. How many hours of the day do you have to see data-wise for you to realize that it's going up? Now, if you still missed it, right, at 1230, let's go another hour from 1230 to, what is this, 1.30, so 1330 over here. It's still going up. Now, keep in mind, I mentioned there's a play here, over here. This is at the 13.30. If you were just finally late and you're like, you know what? I just need to find a, a play to jump into. Here it is right here. Boom, to the upside. You, that's the nicer one on the ups, option call side. So to go back to it, don't overcomplicate it. It's uptrending all day no matter when you look at it. Just get into a play. Once it comes back to tap on that major supply zone and ride it up. Oh,